I'm thinking about the past, the choices we've made that have led us to where we are now. I'm thinking about time and how it goes so fast when you don't notice it. It just disappears. This. You can't expect to tell me this and believe it yourself. You've seen the way she looks after school. They beat her up. She doesn't have any friends. She doesn't have anyone to talk to. She doesn't have a brother or a sister. She's lonely. She has us. She has nobody but us. And we're not here forever. And her condition makes it impossible for us to live a normal life. We are living a normal life, Alice. We've been living a normal life for the last 12 years. Do you remember that? I remember going through the worst amount of misery a parent could endure for nine years, Tom. I remember all those nights. I stayed up crying, tearing out my heart, asking myself why I went wrong. Can you honestly call that normal? Can you? I can't. Which is all the more reason why we shouldn't send her away. She's our only daughter, our only child. You're meant to love her. I know that, and I do love her, just as much as you. But can you honestly call her normal? I mean, look at her. How do you expect her to survive out there? She can't even survive school! Forget about school! She has a future! What future? As a loner? As a kid who has no one turn up to their birthday parties? As a recluse? As a failure? No! As a musician! As an artist! As someone who can make a difference! Don't be ridiculous. Vincent Van Gogh, Howard Hughes, they were having like a John Nash. They all had disabilities and they all made a difference. And look what happened to them. Were either dead or hooked down on. But at least they made a difference. And they've saved the lives of so many people. And I'm telling you, if you give me the, just the slightest chance, instead of sending her away, you'll see. I do see. I see her every day, alone and afraid. I see her trying to fit in with the rest of us, even though she can't. You're being pessimistic. No, I'm not, Tom. I'm being realistic. Get your head out of the clouds. Welcome to life. Have you seen this? And this? And this? What about the piano? No one taught her. I didn't. You didn't. She has a gift. This isn't a gift, Tom. This is a condition. A condition that we've been dealing with for eight years. And for eight years, we've had to put aside our lives for her. Now I'm willing to give her another 20, and you should be saying the same. You're supposed to be supporting her through good times and bad. I am supporting her. I'm supporting her by trying to give her a better life. A better life? That's the one we gave Peter. How we shoved him away. Look at that, got him. And if you were to go through with this, it will just be another repeat of what happened before. Stop it. We're a broken family, Alice. Why can't you see it? We're falling apart. And if you do this, no one's going to give a damn about us. Because we let both our children die. Stop it! I mean, look at what you're doing. You're sending her away. You're depriving her of a family. The one thing we all want. Did you even love her? You're treating her like some sort of freak or some sort of stranger. If you were to do this, she would lose a family and the ability to change the world. I'm sending her away so that she has friends. I'm sending her away so that she has people to belong with. I'm sending her away so that she can live a normal life. It's something that we can't provide her with. We've been providing him with a normal life since the day he was born. We didn't stop then, so why stop now? Because I can't take it anymore, Tom! I can't! I'm thinking about the future. Where we might end up tomorrow. Which path we must choose. The lives we may affect in our time here. I'm thinking about life and how it can change into the lives of many.